because I don't have any birth certificates or driving license or anything to the only thing I have is utility bill and that's not going to get me anyway so that's what I rely on mostly and if you don't have the financial means to get what you need then you just can't get it can you so it's, I try not to think of it if I did I'd go crazy that's the base, to be honest with you you just have to accept your lot really haven't you and just work around it as much as you can Entonces eh, me sentí en todo modo como muy asustada con respecto a esto y excluida, es porque déjame trabajar, ¿sabes? Eh, hazlo un poco más difícil, solo quiero trabajar. Y entonces corrí el riesgo, fui y bueno, dijo una buena persona y pude abrir la cuenta bancaria, pero obviamente tuve que mentir, tuve que mentir. Eh, Pero lo que sé es que mucha gente lo pasa mal y, y no pueden empezar a, a trabajar porque no, no tienen ese contrato. Y los bancos lo hacen muy difícil, no sé por qué. Yo, yo sab, uh, utilities, mil, etc. hota hai, wo usme jo mere relatives hota hai, unka naam aata hai. Hum dono ka, hum dono mein se kisi ka bhi nahi aata. So, isi liye humko thore zyada uh, time lag gaya address proof ke liye. Just as a lagra, ki ape as a just proof of address milleme, humko itna itni difficulties face karni pati, to sub age jake kya hoga. In Lewis, where I used to live, there was a bank that I couldn't get into because it was up three stairs. And there was just a little bell to push, and the banking clerk would have to come out, take all my identification, take my bank cards, take my money, go back in, do my banking for me, and leave me there with all my belongings gone. And I found that so uncomfortable to the extent that I would actually drive to another town to go and do my banking because I did not want those things leaving my side. And, and that's exclusion to such a basic level. We call banks and they call it accounts. I won't be selling my ID card. I won't be selling my ID card, my baby and mama. I know Mr. Bissami, my house number. Mr. Mihoho, my back cry, me and me be beard. For someone that just returned to Ghana, it has been challenging accessing IDs to use for financial services. A lot of the ID cards are issued seasonally. So if you happen to arrive in the country outside of those periods, getting them is hard. It took me more than one year to open a bank account and it's because of these ID challenges and other attendant challenges. One of the reasons why uh, I, don't have, I don't have a bank account is because I don't have an ID card. And, and, uh, and the reason why I don't have an ID card is that when the opportunity comes, when I go there, the feet are so long that I cannot stand and see to its end. Then I'll, I'll, I'll come back home. <laughs> I really struggled a lot, especially financially initially, due to the fact that I could not create a bank account and then transfer the funds that I needed. So that's just affected everything particularly because I needed money to be able to buy the things I needed, to pay um, for any, any services that I was accessing. And I realized, I found myself actually using the credit card that I was issued in the bank outside Ghana. So you can imagine that it came with a lot of steep charges. My banks also on more than one occasion blocked my access to those cards because they also felt it was unusual. My, my explanation to the, the banking institution is that they should consider a situation and, and make ways for us so that we also get access to uh, this bank account. Uh, and these loans and the investment that we also need to make.